Good morning, Rangers. I'm Erin Herndon. And I'm Lauren Marshall. And this is your Ranger Report here through daily announcements. Hey, you patriotic citizens. If you are 18 years of age and have not yet registered to vote, please stop by the table in the senior dining hall and fill out a voter's card. This Tuesday afternoon will be the first chemistry club meeting of the year. Come join us in room A to 10 to explore topics in chemistry and select officers for the 2016 spring semester. Don't miss out. Meetings this year will be held periodically. Attention UIL academic team members. This Saturday, you will be attending the MacArthur Invitational Meet. So be sure to pick up a permission slip and confirm with your entry, your entry with Miss Nipper in room D210 as soon as possible. On Thursday, you will have another pizza and practice party in room D210 from 4 to 7 p.m. Try to bring a little cash to help pay for the pizza. Facts will be collecting canned goods and non-perishable items through Friday, February 5th. Donations will be taken to the Hope Center Food Pantry. Drop-off locations are in the front office, senior dining hall, and C106. Service hours will be given, see Ms. Niles in C106. The Humans of SV is leading a community-wide contest to raise $1,700 for plastic, paper, aluminum, and glass recycling containers for our campus. The top three students who raise the most money by donating to the GoFundMe link below will win a 20-ounce Yeti tumbler customized with a graphic design or monogram of their choice. If the $1,700 goal is met by February 21st. To have your family or friends donate on the behalf of a student, have them list the student's name and grade in the comment box on the donation page. Students wishing to take culinary art for the 2016-2017 school year, please see Chef Deloach in the culinary kitchen for an internet application. Culinary arts is a two-period career and technology elective open to sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Congratulations to the varsity tennis team. They played in the Jetson Spring Invitational this past weekend and won second place overall. Nico Dominguez won singles, Brandon Giordanelli and Jordan Shaw won double mix, or mixed doubles, and Olivia Tuber won second place and Lauren Bassett won third. Now over to Nate Weeks with the world news. Across the world, countries are facing oddly low temperatures. Some, however, are less prepared than others. In Eastern Asia, a cold snap has swept across the area, killing at least 85 people in Taiwan and stranding over 60,000 tourists in South Korea. Taiwanese media, says CNN, reported deaths from hypothermia and cardiac disease following a sudden drop in temperature over the weekend. While the temperature only fell to the low 30s, hardly any of the houses in the area have central heating. A city official in Taiwan stated that it's not the actual temperature, but the sudden drop is too sudden for people's circulatory systems. News organizations and health professionals across the world are proclaiming warnings of the recently popularized Zika virus, a virus that has the capability to spread all across the Americas. The virus is native to Africa and causes mild fever, conjectivitis, and headache. However, cases of the virus have appeared in 21 countries in the Americas. The lack of a natural immunity in the Americas, says CNN, is thought to be helping the infection spread rapidly. I'm Nate Weeks, and that's what's trending around the globe. Thank you, Nate. So, why did the banana continuously fail his driver's test? Why? He just kept peeling out. <laughs> <laughs> this has been your range report here through Daily Announcements. Have a great day.